What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today we're at Dick's Sporting Goods. It's obviously pouring rain. We'll get to that in a little bit. We're gonna have some rain to deal with in today's little fishing video. But there has been a product that has arrived at Dick's Sporting Goods. It's a little late because it's already hit the YouTube airwaves or screens, but this is the first time I've been able to get my hands on it. But before we reveal to you what that is, remember guys, we are on the road to 1 million subscribers this year in 2021. So do me a favor, over 50% of you guys watching this video are not subscribed. Hit that red button below the video, it says subscribe, make it turn gray, enable the bell notification. You can always unsubscribe later, and it's free to do. It takes three seconds, guys. Help me out, let's get to a million. All right, guys, let's head inside, see if this particular product, it's basically a big box full of lures, but it's like a mystery, and I'm not sure what's all is in it. I've never seen one before in real life, but apparently they have them today. We're gonna go get one, buy it, open it up, see if we can catch some nice winter fish today. I see him. I see him. Oh my gosh. Dude, they've got a bunch of them. Look at this. Oh my gosh. This is dope. Are there different? Oh, there's, okay, now these are all the same. So, you got the little mystery tackle box, mother load bass fishing crate. Didn't even realize that that was a thing. Bass fishing crate, so. Now you've actually gotten one of these before. What number did you get? Do you remember? Because this is 12 of, 15. Oh wait, no, that's 12 to 15 baits, box 88. Yeah, I think I, mine was like 83. Oh, so they, they do have, they've got an 89 as well. 88, 89, what is that one? 89 and 89. So there are two different ones, 88 and 89. So I kind of want to get a couple of them. Just to kind of, <laughs> I'm, I'm just curious if like how different they are. So you've got 83. Yeah. This is 88, 89. Yeah, okay. So I'm getting off track, I'm sorry, I'm actually excited. So they got these at Dick's Sporting Goods like a few weeks ago. They sold out here so fast that I was never never able to get my hands on one. But my buddy Logan texted me the other day and said, hey, they've got them, try to go get one. So I think I'm gonna get two. I think I'm gonna get 88 and 89 just to see how different they are. So big shout out to Mystery Tackle Box for making this mother load crate. And if you guys know anything about me or this channel, we love fishing kits. Any kind of like box or tackle box that has a random assortment of bass fishing lures, it's a huge appeal for me, for Badge, and for you guys, the viewers. So I'm really glad we got to find this thing. But the big question now is, are we gonna be able to fight the rain and catch some fish today? I think the rain's supposed to be thinning out a little bit this afternoon. But in the meantime, let's go unbox these bad boys, see what's in them, see what the value is. It's a $60 box, but there's 12 to 15 lures in there. So let's make sure that the value, everything's adding up. And hopefully by the end of this video, we will have a nice fat Sally mm. in our hands caught off one of these lures. So you never open yours, right? No, I haven't. So you don't even know what's what's in these bad boys. Yeah. Let's start with just the, the first one, the 89, all right? You guys might also be wondering why I bought two. There's a good reason, but you're gonna have to keep on watching to find out, but you may be able to win one of these boxes. Keep watching. Yeah, hit that camera with that knife, man. Just scratch it up. <laughs> Ooh, okay, okay. Anytime you open a box, and you see a Guggen bait right off the bat, I'm already happy. So we got some trench hogs. What is this? Got a little 13 motorboat. You know how I like the motorboat, man. I knew I'm a, it. I mean, come on, how could you not? It's called a motorboat. How could you not make a motorboating joke? I'm guessing this is like a topwater. It's got the little blade right there, but it's basically like a, almost looks like a swim bait without the tail. They just took the tail off and put a thing on there. Okay, it's pretty cool. It's not something that I use a lot. We've got a hyper elastic creation dart spin pro so it's kind of like an underspin okay that's a good bait this time of year True. very very good bait like an underspin type of bait it's basically a jig head with a swim bait and then you put a blade on it so all right got a zinger baby also a good bait you caught a big bass on a zinger earlier this I year did. or late last year she's but swimming in the pond right now that's right winter time you brought me that fish that was a nice little what five pounder yeah five and a half freaking let's go Got a little Freedom Tackle Corp the jig, a little half ounce, like a, like a, well, it's a football head jig, but it's got the little top right there that moves. Okay, jigs are also good. Oh my God, look at this. What's going on there? Look at my guy right there. Happy look at that guy. <laughs> He's got the thumbs up. He's got the, <laughs> woo, okay. Realist Boots, but what is that? Boostar? 
What? Seriously, how do you? I don't what know. is that? Boo! Boo! Star! <laughs> Wake! I mean, it's a paddle tail swim bait. Let's just call it what it is. Right. It's very interesting looking. It's got a really crazy. It's got like some underfins right there. Oh. Uh, yeah. So I'd love to see what that thing looks like on a hook. Got a little Strike Pro jerk bait. Nothing crazy there, but uh, jerk baits can certainly catch them this, this time of year. Got some swing shads, some more paddle tails. These, these would go great on the little underspin if you wanted to upsize your presentation a little bit. Dude, there's a lot of stuff in here. Yeah, it's there's, loaded. There's still like five more lures in here. That's This is freaking crazy. Got a little Vexen, little looks like a medium diver or maybe even like a like a square bill or something. Okay, yeah. that's interesting. Like the color, red cranks are definitely working right now. Got some Weston paddle tails. Man, this is a paddle tail box right here. Yeah. But hey, if you're gonna slow roll a paddle tail on the bottom, you really can't go wrong with that. So we got some varying sizes and styles, so it's good stuff. A little lunker hunt, a little square bill right there, a little bluegill, bluegill action. Ah! Ah! Oh, a little dizzy. Just sneeze and knife goes through my face. Oh gosh. All right, I've got some more Guggen baits on the bottom. Oh. Nice. This is this is the move. Slim shake worm, probably the Guggen bait I've caught the most fish on of all time, little known fact. Got one more. Got some Cabin Creek baby craws right there. Perfect for that little jig, or if you have a little small jig that you wanted a little craw for. Dude, look at this though. Look at that Mountain Dew out of here. We're not sponsored by Mountain That's Dew. That's right. All right, let's just take a quick, kind of like a final look at all this stuff. So, okay, this box costs what, 60 bucks? Yep. That's more than $60 worth of lures. Wouldn't you say? For sure. Let's go do some quick math in my head. Like seven, fourteen, twenty. I mean, that's definitely seventy-five or eighty dollars worth of lures. Yes, that's it. I mean, retail, of course, is what we're talking. Like, if you went to a store and bought all these lures, so hell, that's that's pretty that's pretty good, man. So, okay, out of all this, I know what I would throw this time of year. So, water temps are like around fifty, give or take a degree or two in either direction. Um, the water's kind of murky and it's raining, so that's a big thing right now. So, the water's going to be really murky while we're fishing today. What are you gonna go to here? What is your what is your move here? I'm torn between spinner bait, yeah. jerk bait, underspin. Yeah. Those things look good. Slow roll on a spinner bait, definitely gonna be good for the murky water. Yeah, the underspin, if you've got some deeper water that you're hitting, True. and you wanna slow roll that swim bait presentation, definitely the underspin, although I think I might put one of these other bigger uh, pal tails on there. Yeah. The red crank, I just don't know what kind of crank this is. It's got a weird bill on it and it's kind of small. I don't like the small crank baits. If I'm gonna throw a crank, I just wanna throw a regular size crank bait. Slim shake worm on like a shaky head yeah, that, or a drop it, shot or, I mean, geez. A, yeah, small finesse worm. It's gonna be killing this time of year. Geez, all right. Well, that's uh, that's pretty cool. Should we open up the other box or should we save it? If we open it, we can still give it away. Let them know what that's they're- That's true, that's true. But yeah, yeah, let you know exactly what you're trying to enter. Be really careful with this box though. That way it's not destroyed. Plus I wanna compare. We can say which box is better. Right. You know what I mean? We'll figure out which box is better and See then we'll give really away. Different. Oh, but this one had tape on three sides. I bet you this is a better box, See? Oh. <laughs> they got this one really taped up. Dang, this one's taped too. That one wasn't even taped. All right, let's just dump this guy out. I figured there's gonna be some similarities in the boxes, but hopefully there's some differences too. All right, so we do have some trench hogs, which we had in that pack. There's a new bait right there. What is that? I don't know. A crawfish jig? What the freak? Will you catch crawfish on a jig? I don't really know. Well, it's basically like a crappie jig. It's like a little hair jig. That's okay. an interesting looking little thing. Yeah. This is a good time of year to catch crappie, I think. I just don't really do that, so. Got the same lunker hunt, crank, same color. Okay, we got some more shad tees. Yeah, but different color. This is like a perch color yeah, almost. That's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. Oh, what do we got here? Some weight, some tungstens, oh. baby. Let's freaking go. We got another zinger, of course. So the zinger and the Guggen baits are kind of the same. We also have the old motorboat again. Mm. Okay, this one's got a card in it. What the heck? Prize pool. Don't know what that is, but it looks like it might be another giveaway. So you guys may want to check that out. Okay, here we go. Got a Yozuri little uh, suspending, basically a jerk bait. That is a good bait right there this time of year. That's probably what I would grab out of this one. I haven't even seen the rest of it. Okay, we got a little Livingston red crankbait. Definitely. Definitely, definitely good this time of year. See, I like this one because it's got the hooks. Dude, I love got those the, spear point hooks. Yeah, these spear point, the little, the weird gap thing. Yeah, yeah. That, it's got some tungstens, so you can Texas rig the little um, the trench hog. Got the old Cabin Creek, so we got those still, and we had the Strike Pro jerk bait. So, major differences is this one has terminal tackle. This one's got tungsten weights 
and hooks. So that's dope that it already has that. It's also got a Yozuri jerk bait and a Livingston Lures red crank. So that's a tough call, man. Like which, if you were like talking about which box is better. Yeah. I think this one went a little heavy on the paddle tails. True. Because there's like three different kinds. This one more, was more towards terminal tackle, one jerk bait, some nice crank and jerk baits. It's a tough one, man. I really don't want to give that one away now because I kind of like it. Yeah. yeah. I don't know which one I'm going to give away. <laughs> and of course, you got the little mystery tackle box. You got a little thing right there that tells you what all is in the box. That's pretty standard when it comes to mystery tackle boxes. And a little tips and tricks guide where do anglers poop. Some really quality information right. in there when you bust it open, you know? Need it. I mean, hey, I've pooped off a boat before. I'm sure you have too, or mm. had had to poop on a boat, so. Yeah. You might need to know some of that information, so. All right, Badge, which box is better? Right here. Yeah. Terminal. I'm a terminal kind of guy. I mean, you can't beat having terminal tackle already in there. And tungsten weights. That's, those are eighth ounce tungsten weights. It's a good, that's a good size. They're small, but I like a slow falling Texas rig. All right, well, since we both, I kind of think, even though this one has two packs of Guggenbakes, which is pretty dope. I think we're gonna go ahead and let this one be the one that we give away, because I think we both agree it's the better box. Just by, just slightly, only slightly. So I'm gonna put all this stuff back in there, we're gonna reseal it, and like I said, stay tuned, you might be able to win that thing. Now, Badge, you and I are gonna take this box, and we're gonna head on out, I'm not sure where we're gonna go yet, we're gonna go somewhere, see if we can catch some fish on some of these lures and demonstrate to you just how effective some of these lures can be in wintertime. See you guys in the water. Ah, all right. Logan, what's up? what's up, man? You ready to fish? I'm ready. Let's catch some bigs. It's been you've a been, while. You've been catching them out here lately? I've been catching a lot of little ones, but. Damn it. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> it's okay. Like the last today. time we were here, though, you remember yeah. what happened the last time we were here? Was that the last time we were here? I think so. Big fish, six pounder got caught by your, your boy here. So, three of us in a boat with a bunch of good lures, we should be able to catch a big fish, right? Right? Yep. Don't you think? I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. I really hope so. <laughs> Let's get to fishing. You might want to turn your bilge on. Oh yeah, I know you dumped me in and you almost swamped us right off the right off the bat. You didn't give me a good reaction. Nothing. Well me and him were like, well, uh, the boat's underwater, so <laughs> No, I hit the bilge, I got it all out. It wasn't that much, but you got the back deck nice and wet for Logan though, so that's good. <laughs> so now if anybody slips, we know who it's gonna be. Alright, got the old pan optics fired up. We're pretty much at spot number one right here. Got a whole front deck covered with some of the baits that were in that mother load box. I mean, we got the little underspin thing, got the Lunker Hunt uh, square biller, got the Slim Shake Worm on a little Texas rig, got the zinger, and got the jig. So I think Logan's also got, like, what, you got the jerk bait from the box back there? So we got a pretty good variety of stuff. I'm gonna throw the little underspin thing first, because I just think that it's gonna be the deal. There's a ton of bait in this lake. Logan's been catching them on a lipless crankbait, which this is gonna imitate very well. What are you gonna throw, Badge? I might slow down and go with the worm. Whoa, yeah, little man. worm guy. Okay. I, I like that, I can respect that. Got a jerk bait in the back, worm in the middle, fast moving bait up front. I think, uh, I think we might be onto something. I just watched a bass eat a bait fish. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Like there was a couple little blips and there was a big blip moving towards it and all of a sudden the little blips were gone. <laughs> Dope. Dude, the water temps are money here, by the way. Yeah. Well, this is reading 55, so you already know it's probably like 56. Ooh, I don't know if that was a fish or if that was a snagger. A snaggy, snaggy tooth. You ready, boy? Get him! Oh! Monster! Off the freaking the, the uh, point. I'll take it. On the slim shake. First blood? First blood. Oh, How often does Badge hit first blood? <laughs> Man, that's very rare. It's very rare. That's just because you're normally doing stuff behind the camera, though. That's right. Pump me up. Dude, look at the red hair. lips, man. Yeah. Look at those little lipstick. Nice, man. I don't know if we're actually try attempting a slam slam, but if we were, that is one lure down. That kind of inspired me, man. I kind of want to go for I it. I know. Well, but think about it. You've already got a trench hog, so you can go ahead and throw a trench hog on there. Bye-bye, buddy. I thought, you know what? I think it's worth a shot. I mean, if we start catching them, if he catches one, I catch one, you catch one on the trench hog, that's like four baits now. Like, oh, next thing you know. We're about to do something historic. 
<laughs> he's really into it now. We started something now. He wants to, he actually wants to do this. That looks like a bed right there, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I got a big bed. I got a jig for you. I just completely missed it by eight yards. That's cool though. <laughs> I completely missed it. This is probably a spawning area, right? Like along this edge. That's what it looks like. Hey, counter. Fish? Oh man, Stick that made my heart sink a second. Yeah, that kind of that kind of sounded a little more uh -huh. real. And it gave. You and it gave, so. yeah. There's really no way to even describe how it ends. You just have to watch it. Get him! No! Lost him? Yeah, I think I pulled it straight out of his mouth. Lost him? We'll get back in there. I'm Did getting back that? in there. Uh, I thought I saw the line kind of moving. Yeah. Ooh, Triple threat. God. Oh, 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 he's chasing my bait. Dude, he was waking after my bait. Did you oh. see it? The same fish. It's a giant fish. It had to be. Look, look, he freaked my bait up. He was waking behind it, and I saw him coming after it. Oh my god. How did my hook get like this? What the hell is going on here, man? Oh no, he got off. Do you have him too? Yeah, I just got him. What the freak? Oh, the jig Somebody there. freaking get that joker. Get him. Get him. I saw him waking after my bay. That was wild. Joker was just chasing it. One theme, one dream, folks. <laughs> we got three lures going at him. He can't resist for long. You saw a large fish right in front of the boat. I do think 20 I feet out. Straight in the cove? Good? No, but I saw him on the panoptics, baby. Didn't you hear me? I said fish yeah. right in front of the boat. Yoinks. Look at that. He freaking choked it. He absolutely choked that. I don't know what you're calling that. I don't even care. It doesn't even matter. Yeah. Dude, my guy's got hella sharp teeth. Looks like a freaking walleye. What the frick? Hold on. Let me get this thing out of his mouth. Look at his teeth. Oh, there's one. Oh, and Logan's on. There we go. Let's go, dude. We might can do a slam here. Dude, we're about to slam this on Dinks. This is freaking possible, man. Oh, if wow. I could get this out of his mouth. I'm using this little gold jerk bait. He crushed it. I don't even know. He just came up and hammered it. Hey, man, we're finding him. So we got a little double up action. About The problem is these are not exactly big fish, but that's three fish in the boat right off the bat. And three lures marked off the list it's happening we could it's possible it's happening the problem is see we're, we went for the best wintertime lures first True. and as we continue to move like down the lure chain some of these are not necessarily like the best options you know what i mean here you go logan i'll be interested to see i mean i'm willing to try i think we should because we've gotten we've had so much good luck right off the bat i think we should try but i think it's just only going to get harder from here on out all right on the jerk bait little guy that was beautiful Nice. I rated a 10 out of 10. Yeah. You need to tie something else on, Logan. I'm going to throw the crankbait because it hasn't been thrown yet. You know what we could do? We could do because there's a bunch of paddle tails in there. We could, I have jig heads, like little white jig heads Dude, that in my good. terminal tackle box and just start throwing uh, paddle tails on swim jig heads. You know what I mean? And there's a zinger too. Nobody's thrown the zinger yet either. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Throw the spinner bait. Wow. Make sure that this is going to happen. I think there's a possibility. That was such a cool bite, guys. I saw him on Panoptics 20 feet in front of the boat, and then I casted right at it, slow rolled it, and he just munched it. I didn't actually see him eat it, but I did see him on the live scope first. So that is um, such a cool piece of technology that's just never going to get old. Whoa, that's probably the same fish. Dude, on the crazy crank. On the crazy crank. Look at that freaking crank. And the, the different color hooks are just insane. <laughs> yeah. Dude, good job. We're freaking marking dang baits off the list. Dude, guys. I think we have a chance. I, no, we definitely have a chance. I'm just, really into this. We're only like full, like 30, 40 minutes in, too. Like, we haven't... Yeah, we can do this. The weather's mild. The only thing that might suck is the top water this time of year. Do we have... Oh, we have a top water. Yeah, that's going to be... But we got plenty of, like, good cover to, to work, so... Could we modify the bait? Could we cut off a blade, I don't know throw a little I... sinker on there? Well, I don't know if you're allowed to modify baits. I don't know. We'll see. We'll, we'll just see what happens. Very nice job, Logan. Thank you. I've been fishing so long. Logan, fish. Come here, buddy. We need you. We need you on the crankbait. No! I was really just trying to hustle him in because I just... I, I don't really have faith in this particular crankbait's hooks, so I was trying to just muscle them in as quick as possible. 
probably wasn't the right move, but oh, we're kind of hitting a little bit of a, of a wall here. We were on a big time roll with this slam, but it's okay, we're not gonna lose the faith just yet now. I just got hit again, got him. That feels better. Man, that, that feels, I mean, not huge, but that thing's pulling now. Uh, Logan, you wanna give me a net job there? Cause I can't boat flip this guy. Oh man, that's not a huge one, but it's nice. Yeah, it's barely it's, hooked. He's barely hooked. All right, Logan. Come, Come on, right Logan. Right to you. This is our chance. Squig him. Yeah, yeah, baby. Woo! Oh, he got hooked pretty good. What? Well, not a huge fish by any means, but a freaking nice one. Look how long that fish is. He's gonna be somebody one day. Boom, baby. Got a crankbait off the list. Of course, this is not a bait that I was really worried about. Dude, the pause, man. I literally switched to a crank crank pause routine with that crankbait. And the first cast I did with it was that last fish. The second cast I was pausing was this one. So, boys, let it be known, a little uh, crank crank pause is the way to go today. All right, buddy. Hey, deeper water. We're moving into the deeper water with a new technique, upgrading size a little bit. And the slam is still a possibility. It's now time for me to change baits and see if we can pluck a big one today and get a slam. All right, I'm gonna try to rig something up here. So we got another one of the many paddle tails. We still have these big crazy looking jokers, but I took the little jig head that was on the underspin kind of thing. I'm gonna bite this down and then just straight up rig it up just like a normal swim jig, basically. Not a swim jig, but a swim bait head, you know? You guys know what I'm talking about. And I think if I can continue on that same like pausing pattern, the only problem is this hook is kind of small, so we'll see if we can get this guy in a fish's mouth. Get him, Logan! Get him in the boat! Get him in the boat, Logan! Come on, Logan! Power him in there! Oh, yes! Bring him to my face! <laughs> nice, dude! Very nice! On the zinger with a paddle tail on there, oh, right? Yeah, two baits in one. Oh, snap. Wait, which paddle tail do you have on there? I have that Weston one, so those. Oh, nice! So two baits, yes, let's go. There we go. A little zinger action. Heck yeah, bro. That's a nice fish, man. Those are two nice fish in a row, bro. We have moved to a good They're area over on this here. <laughs> They're chilling on this bank. Good fish, Logan. Thank you. I appreciate this fish. Good, nice little fish bump. Oh, yeah, a little fish bump. How's it feel? Oh, it's a decent one too. Dang. Dude, we are yeah. on them, boys. We have found them. This is about to be another paddle tail. Oh, he's coming back. Oh, up. oh let's go. Oh. High intensity releases. Dude, this one's good too, man. He had choked it, too. That bait is gone. The bait is absolutely gone. Look at that. Gosh. Look at the choke job my guy did right here. Look at that. It's freaking gone, dude. <laughs> it's gone. Dude, let's go, man. Good stuff, man. That was really my first real cast with that one, too. Like, out there, let it die, let it pause. That tiny little hook got him because he ate it so well. See, if he had just nipped at that tiny hook, yeah, he, he wouldn't have got that. hooked. Dude, that's three pretty, like, decent two and a half, three pounders in it. Well, this is a two and a half. He's meaty, though. Let's freaking go. Oh, you better check your rod, homie. <laughs> got a fish on there? Oh, gosh. When he picked it up, my okay. heart just... Okay, well, let me... Let me... <laughs> yes, we're on him. We gotta figure out how many baits we have left because we gotta be getting close to this slam now. All right, I'll let you hop on the GoPro. All right, grab your rod, Batch. There's something marking right here, so whatever we got to throw. Gosh, dude, hand me one of those big, stupid uh, purple ones. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw it on the same rig. It just makes sense. It's just really big. Mm hmm, they're suspending. That's why this pause technique is getting them because it's like going over their head and it's dropped right in front of them. All right, let's try this freaking crazy looking thing. But the principle should still apply as long as we're hitting them with that pause technique. You done a trench hog yet? No, we have not. Oh man, we're getting close, boy. Is that it? Trench hog jig then, with the craw trailer and then this? this top water and bag. then the top water. Dude, we're close. This might be possible after all. Got him. Oh gosh. Good one? Fighting hard. Fighting. Dang, it's another good one. Get him in the boat, Badge. Gosh, that was crazy. Do you need a net? No. You want me to grab him? No. He's getting big. Let's go. Oh, yeah, baby. That's that might be the biggest one today. Jeez. Dude, that was a cool bite, man. <laughs> yeah, you were doing. We were trolling over it. Yeah, I saw. I was like, I felt like there was a lot of structure at the bottom of that whatever it is. There is. And he's been deep eating. See the red? Yep. 
on that jig and the little crawl, the little cabin creek crawl. Yeah, two and one. Boom, two and one. Oh nice yeah, bro. Fish, man. Dude, I'm not. Check I don't want to brag, but we are killing this slam right now. Yeah, for Dude, sure. Freaking out. You want a picture, my guy? Yeah, I want a picture. Yeah, Dude, I want a picture. picture. Wait, one more. One more. One more. Oh Jesus! I, I mean, gotta get the face. Yeah, yeah. Thank Shablam! You. I love you. Shablam! You right, yes. That's crazy that you were like dragging your jig. We were trolling over the spot and you still got that. That is just wild. We've definitely uh, found them. Thanks, buddy. Some decent fish too, man. Yeah, heck yeah. The last three, four fish have been good. All right, folks, we just realized we have exactly three baits left. We have this thing, which is crazy. The motorboat, top water, probably going to be the hardest one, but I'm going to take that because I love me some good top water. And plus, I think the water's warm enough. These fish might be hitting top water. Wow, there's a ton of suspending fish out here, by the way. They're just running from the boat. Wow. Look at that, guys. Look at these suspending fish just running from the trolling motor. That's insane. Wow. Well, we know where to come. We know we can come back through here and potentially uh, get them. Why don't we troll this thing for a minute, huh? What do you guys think about that? Troll it. Look at that. <laughs> I just trolled by the boat. Look at it. If that thing gets chomped, that's going to be the most epic bite in the history of the world. And I wouldn't put it past these gosh darn fish. But Logan's got, what do you got? The little, the purple crazy purple, Japanese, Japanese swim bait. Thing, okay. Smells awful. Smells awful? I didn't even smell it. Okay. Yeah, smell them, bro. And then Badge has got, what do you got? Smell it, bro. Badge has got the trench hawk. Right. That's it. We would be come done with this slam. Yeah. That would be really incredible because there's like 15 lures in this thing. Yeah. We'll have to go back through and make sure. Woo! Is that something? That is odd. Not what I'm used to at all. <laughs> Let's just see how this thing kind of is. It's just basically like a buzz bait or a... It looks okay. It's just, I don't know. Let me see. I'm not going to have a completely negative attitude about this. What do you guys think about that? <laughs> You're just like, uh, well, it's kind of crazy looking. I kind of landed too close to it. Oh, what? Some yeah. weight behind you, dude. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. It's like right as I was reeling it in. Yeah. There we go. I don't know, man. These fish are hitting bait at the surface pretty hard. This might work. This thing, the good thing about this is it's really subtle. I have one. Slang him. Got him? He dropped it. I, I saw all that cover out there. I put some sauce on that fish too. It kind of hurt myself. <laughs> <laughs> when you set the hook really hard and you miss a fish, it kind of hurts. Oh, something just waked behind it and slapped at it. Oh my God, I wasn't even looking. A fish waked behind it and then like turned away at the last second. It realizes it hates blue, and it's just like, no, that ain't it. Oh, oh! What? Tell me you guys heard that. Yeah, heard there are fish chasing it out and nipping at it, but they're just, I don't think they're really liking it. That's the second or third time. And there was a small fish, I saw it, but still, he chased it. Oh, there he is! Oh, dude, I told you it was only a matter of time. That was there like that was like three casts in a row where fish were chasing it. it about this size. Wow, look at that. that what a good little hit by that guy. And he got freaking hooked too, there was no doubt. I kinda, I'm gonna keep throwing this thing since we've got, we've only got two lures left, so I want you guys to try to finish your lure. I'm gonna keep on throwing this thing and maybe hope for a, a big one, you know? Oh, I know. But wow, unfreaking believable That's crazy. This motorboating bastard right here, he's just <laughs> a motorboating kind of guy, which is why I like him so much. Wow. Two more to go, boys. Who's it going to be? We I believe in you guys. I, I think we, we've come too far now. Yeah. Like we can't stop now. Right. We've got some of the hardest lures done. Right. You know what I mean? Got a paddle tail, which is kind of weird. It's still a paddle tail. And you've got a trench hog dragging enough through here. Guys, we can do this. Fish. Got him. Look, he's way back there. Oh, here he comes. Water ski him in, baby. On the troll. We can't let him get any get any head shakes in on us. Cabal. On the crazy one. Yes. On the crazy paddle tail. Right there. 
I did alter it a tad. I cut it down a little bit, but that's it, baby. We have one lure left, kids. The trench hog. It's in Badger's hands. Oh, Badge, you've got to come through for us, okay? Okay. We've done our part today, and you've done your part too, but you need to finish this off with a nice little trench hog fish. We're right here in the, your, your favorite area of the lake. Am I wrong? This is it. This is your favorite area. It's where you caught pretty much the nicest fish of the day on a jig earlier. And we're only gonna give this about five, 10 more minutes because we've got other things we need to do today. Plus this video is probably 86 minutes long already. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna give Badge like a nice little 10 minute time zone here. I'm gonna let him get on the trolley and go where he wants, but we've got one chance to end this thing the right way. It's up to you, buddy. Boy. Get him! Go oh, yes! Get Come him. on, get him in the boat, Badge. This is for the freaking dub. This is for the win. Get him in the boat. Come here. Yes. Oh. Bust his head open on the way in. Do another nice one, yeah, man. That's a three. Golly. He it though, man. Wowzers. Might have let him have it a little long. Well, he's not gut hooked. He's dude. That hook set was all on fire, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It loaded up really nice. I hope the dash cam got up. Well, I was probably sitting right in the way, but oh. oh, I hope so. Yeah, dude, hold that bad boy up. That's a nice fish, man, and the winning fish. Dude, can you believe that? I was not February. We completed it. I didn't think we were going for a slam today, but That's we crazy. freaking we did it. Let's show show everybody. There it is. I can see it in the water. Straight trench hog. Straight trench. Straight trench hog, Texas rig, baby. Let's freaking go, man. What a, what a slim, thick girl, am I right? Yeah, that's a hell of a fish to end it on right there because we started off catching nothing but dance. Yeah. But we've really worked our way up. Kind of a started from a, the bottom, now we're here type deal. You know what I mean? <laughs> Let bet. that winning fish go. Oh! Man, see, did the, the last one did the same thing to Logan. They were like, dude, put me down, boy. Good guy. Dude, oh, freaking God, great job, man. Gosh darn slam accomplished. I can't even believe I'm it. I'm stoked, dude. Yeah. I didn't expect that to happen. It's freaking so. amazing. We took that mother load box and we just we showed made them. it our BI. Mm -hmm. All right, folks. Well, I'm not sure if this has ever even been done on YouTube. Do you guys know? I don't think so. I know people have, like, you did a video on it. John was the first person I saw to do a video on it. I don't know if anybody's, like, attempted a slam. I'm sure somebody has, like, maybe a smaller creator. But yeah. anyways, I have never seen anybody complete it. By God, we did it today. You guys saw it cast to catch on every single fish, every single lure. And uh, very proud to say that the th it took three of us, not that, admittedly, three yeah. of us in a boat. But we did it. I mean... And we caught some really nice fish at the end. The last like five, six fish, I feel like, besides the topwater one, they were just all quality, like tournament keeper fish. So True. really happy with that. So big shout out to Andrew Old AO Fishing and Logan Anderson Fishing. Big shout out to them for helping me with this slam. But if you guys are still watching, you're watching because A, you're the best subscribers on YouTube and B, you want to get in on this giveaway because I told you guys we bought two of these. I'm going to give the other one away to somebody. You already saw what was in it. We dumped it out. It's a really nice box full of lures and it actually had some hooks and some weights which we could have used today because we forgot my terminal tackle box somehow it wasn't in the boat so all you have to do to enter to win this thing is make sure you're subscribed to the channel which you should be doing anyways because we're on a road to a million so if you're subscribed to the channel with the bell notification enabled then you like this video smash the thumbs up button you're already entered i will pick a subscriber at random the next video i put out after this one in the description and in the comment section it'll have like you know mtb mother load box giveaway winner if you see your username hit me up send me an email at lojo.fishing at gmail.com i am going to verify your identity so please don't try to cheat me because i will catch you anyways folks i hope you guys enjoyed it give us some comments give us some suggestions for stuff you want to see on the channel in the future thank you for watching we love you we are out